Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 21, part 8 of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we got our first supplies of clothing produced here in Brazil and brought into Jundai, and we're now finally starting to bring industrialization to both Italy and in Brazil. And in this episode, we're going to continue doing that as we export cotton from Brazil to Italy, where it will be produced into clothes. And we're also going to start delivering lemons to make Italian lemonade. But we also got to figure out this particular the South mission. House. Fixing this Big Ben clock. I don't know how it disappeared like that. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe one of the mods I installed caused the whole thing to disappear from the game. Yeah, I think it disappeared somehow. I don't know how it disappeared, but I'm not going to basically dwell on it. Besides, it's just only a campaign mission anyway. And then, let's see. I need to at least produce about 25 clothing. And cotton and clothing requires at least one unit of clothes. I mean, one unit of cotton. Alright, so the cotton is going to be taken down to the port. And then I'll have to set up a service to bring the cotton to the townsfolk. Fortunately, since the station is close, quite close to, well, the textile factory, I might as well place down a cargo station here to pick up clothing items. And I gotta deliver them to Aversa, which is located up the line. Well, I do want to bring clothes to basically... Hmm... Let's see, what city needs it? I'll deliver it to Pasaluli. But that will require some serious construction. I also want to be able to deliver clothes to one of the towns located along the route as well. Alright, we'll place this down here. Still causing that stubborn glitch to occur. Then just basically add this here and activate the slip switch. There we go. At least my trains of, well, clothing could be dropped off here at Torrete. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Much better. Too much slope. How could it be too much slope? Hmm. That was a very odd glitch. I don't know how that happened. Well, whatever the case, I'll be able to continue laying down track now. And then connect it here. And add a slip switch. And of course, I gotta add some signals so my trains don't have a wreck. Now, there are no, there's no basically any way for your trains to actually have an accident compared to some other games like Transport Tycoon. 
the OG Transport Tycoon game, basically. But it's basically very much different in this series. Now then, hmm. Let me see. These are being loaded with food, so for drop-offs, it should be on track one. I'll put a full load in 10 minutes. This will be freight train F. Well, actually, F1. And then another one going from here to here. And this will be freight train F2. Full load, 10 minutes. Let's see. Not three tracks, only one track. And I'll build that there so it won't be in the way. Well, be in the way of my truck wagons delivering the loads of, well, cotton to produce clothing. And then I'll have to set up a station here. Versa, which is starting to grow pretty well, despite no traffic, well, despite no commodities being brought in. Let's see. Truck service C. Put it in green. Full load in 10 minutes. I did not want to go to the tram depot. Put this on track C, track C. And then we'll get the vehicles out. All the while, my lemons are starting to basically get themselves ready to go. There's my train heading up to pick up its lemons. The region around Naples. I believe this mission requires you to deliver loads of lemons to be processed. Shame Napoli doesn't want lemonade. It would have been a very good place to sell it. The only city that wants it is Pompeii. I guess it's true because, I mean, Pompeii is a famous city, after all, in Italy, due to the famous Mount Vesuvius ex exploding in the days of the Greek. And we can start up a new service from here, pick up the lemonade, and drop it off here in Pompeii. Which I think will probably be going to the local hotels. We'll put it a truck service D. Green it. Full load. 10 minute wait. And we'll assign about 10 more of these what, truck, horse drawn wagons to pick it up. Now, it's going to take a while for the arrival of cotton to arrive to produce the clothing here in Napoli, and a little bit of time before the lemonade starts being produced. So I'm going to cut this video right here, and I'll see you all in just a moment when all those requirements are made. So I'll see you all in just a bit. And we're back! So, the, the shipments of cotton from Brazil to Italy have taken so long, and after so many ships failed to drop it off, I decided to do my international cotton shipment from Brazil to Napoli. But as soon as I was not recording, I was able to get that mission done. Oh my god. Oh. I did not realize it at the time. But anyway... Now we're going to get started with our newest operation, 
we now going to get started on the immigration business. So, the Sao Paulo Immigration Office requires immigrants to produce farmers. And then, these farmers are then needed at the various coffee plantations around on the map. Also, at the same time, we also have received several new commodities on this map. One being sugarcane, which will be very helpful. And the other being coffee berries, which needs to be breaking, brought to this coffee factory here to be processed. And then, loaded onto a train of coffee and bring it down to port. And then, the coffee can be brought into... Well, Napoli. But of course, I gotta get those loads of immigrants in. Fortunately, though, I could set up a new track here at this station. And I also figured out why I could not find that clock. It's because that clock will only appear on a cargo station, not on a passenger station. So. Let's place down this clock and be done with this bonus task, which costs about 5 million credits. But let's just put them in both two ends of the station, just basically make them look very picturesque. And I believe this clock actually does work, I believe. Let me see. Uh, I don't think it does. But anyway. Now we gotta get started on these immigrant operations. Ugh, the station is just too darn far. Let me see. That one is too far as well. And with all this traffic, it's not gonna be easy to bring them into town. Hmm. Looks like I'll have to basically build a track through. Let's see. Hmm. Let's basically delete this road here. And this. And this. So we can lay down a station platform for, well, the immigrants. 240 meter platform and connect it to here. There we go. And to basically fix up that trolley line that I severed, I'll just build it around the newly built station track. We'll basically do it like this. Do that. And do this. We'll need to place down a signal here. And then, we'll need to schedule a new service. But first and foremost, I need to make sure that my trains are able to... My immigrant trains can easily reach the station. So I'll build this track here. And build a little extension piece. And then connect here. Add the double slip switch. Do that. Let's see. Where will immigrants? I think immigrants will be coming in by ship. And since immigrants require a cargo station and not a passenger station, let's see. Let's put them close to here, and then have a drop-off point here. I'll add a new route from here to here. Let's see. Let's put a dark brown and call this the immigrant train. And now we just need a new vehicle to operate on it. While I was waiting for the cargo ships to arrive, we received some brand new vehicles. One being this class 56 280, which I'm using now for the cotton trains, and we decided to basically get started on the B&O Fasher Perkins 10-wheeler to pull these Empire State Express passenger cars. However, I still got to bring in immigrants. So now that the original passenger cars are being replaced, 
Let's basically use one of these and just pull it. We'll take number one. Hmm. Which one do I use for the express? I use number 164. Let's see if we can get another engine for that one. Let's use number 147 and couple up to a couple of these Civil War coaches. As these, while they don't, while this engine is not designed to carry them at that speed, they can at least be able to have a nice, pleasant journey. Actually, hmm. We'll just use a couple of these. Two hundred. Well, that's what I need to basically complete this order. Just gonna take out another loan. Purchase it. And set it on that line. I also gotta get myself a new service to bring in immigrants. So, let's see. Immigrant bus service and let's see let's give this a super dark blue color let's put it at 10 minutes and then just put about let's see let's purchase four of these and put them to work And I think, even though this is going to be quite a short episode, I think this will basically be a good stopping point. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, and comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my own schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!